Yeah, we are at Rogers Center, of course. Uh, the quiet and the calm before the beautiful storm, as I've been calling it, because the beautiful storm is about to happen. 407 is the first pitch. Alec Manoa is hitting the mound, and he says, as I speak to President and CEO of the Toronto Blue Jays, Mark Shapiro, good morning to you. Good morning. Your starter today, I want your reaction right away when he's like, man, pressure's for tires. Yeah. I love, I mean, <laughs> one of my favorite quotes is from Arthur Ashe, a tennis player, that says, pressure is a privilege. Mm -hmm. um, I use that to remind myself, <laughs> you know, <laughs> when my stomach's in knots and yeah. I can feel my hair falling out of my head, <laughs> you know. Um, you know, you work so, I think what he's saying is, look, you work so hard. It began in mid-February. Mm -hmm. It's 162 games. There's so many ups and downs along the way. It's hard to even remember them, but you feel them. Yeah. And then you get to this point, and it's like, okay, you know, it's it is it is intense. But you know, you want a celebration to break out. You don't just want it to be, you know, a game and then a celebration breaks out. You know, yeah. that's what you want this to be—a celebration of who our players are, what it took to get here, um, and then ultimately the reconnection. You know, the final piece of reconnection with this city, this country, and our fans. And we haven't seen this place. I mean, it's going to be a sellout tonight, of course. But to have playoff baseball first time since 2016, you were there for that. Uh, what? Because when you walked up, you're like, man. Because you're easing into it today. Because yeah. you're not like you. Yeah, not I know. Like you. I'm coming in hot. <laughs> and Mark's you can coming sustain in. It. I'm a little bit older than you. Yeah. I've got to like gradually ramp up. Man. But you said your stomach is in, is in nuts. Yeah, you're, is. you're a little it bit is. nervous about today. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a good nervous energy though. It is. It is. I mean, again, like it's you work to feel that. If yeah. it, it means there's something at stake. It means that you know you're, you know. It, you're feeling that for so many other people other than yourself. It's not just me. It's like I want it for our fans. I want it for all the scouts and all the player development staff that can't be here today that are still watching. I know they're on the edge of their seat in every single pitch. Fans that are thousands of kilometers away in D.C., you know, and on the East Coast that are watching. It's just that that understanding and that, you know, that, hey, there's a, a nation living and dying, you know, today, and that's hopefully going to be for the entire month is powerful uh, and meaningful and that's that's what i'm feeling i want it so bad and yeah. that, that causes you know a lot of internal uh, tension <laughs> it definitely does yeah. and that's and that's natural and normal as you mentioned uh we bumped into each other on saturday and that was a very good and large crowd yeah but tonight is going to be different and it it's going to feel different, different. And, and since pandemic you hasn't been back to that level uh, what are you hoping for and expecting tonight man? I, I think it's going to be the energy the palpable vibration that this building has that you know we all felt in 15 and 16 and then periodically after but the reality is look we went almost two years without playing here which is hard to imagine um you know playing in minor league facilities playing in partial capacity um and even as we came back you know things have been a, a little bit slow to kind of connect at that level we've had some big crowds but still hasn't felt like that level of energy to me any of us that know what that energy is, know it's gonna be in here tonight. Most importantly, I know the Mariners are gonna feel that yeah. and our guys are gonna feel that. So um, I'm, I'm excited to kind of, you know, see that flag on the field, to, you know, feel that energy from first pitch throughout the whole game. Yeah, and it, and to have our players feel. I mean, really, our guys haven't felt that, which yeah. is pretty cool. And what is kind of the conversations that have been happening with the, with the players and, and the training staff and, and the management? I mean, they're, they are, our guys are great. A lot of the leadership in this moment is coming from George Springer, who's been here so many times and has been an MVP in the World Series setting and knows what it takes. Um, and a lot of that reminder is the things you and I are talking mm -hmm. about, that it's going to feel intense and it's, you're going to feel a responsibility, but have fun, you know, yeah. like enjoy this, you know, recognize the honor it is to be here and let, let's go out and just be who we are, as talented as we are, believe in each other, care about each other and show this this city and this country and the rest of MLB what we're about. The celebration that happened last Friday after the game and the guys, you know, the champagne sprays <laughs> and taking care of the, the crew and the spray. What does that do for a team to celebrate? You know, people are like, oh, you celebrate just getting in the playoffs, man, because you haven't gotten to that point. What does that do for the team? And what did you see it do uh, maybe when it comes to camaraderie? Yeah, I mean, I saw that as a giant exhale. Yeah. You know, it was like, man, like, it, there were moments along the, our journey, you know, I, that I was so proud of the organization, the, the, the front office and the players. No whining, no complaining, no excuse making. Those to me are trademarks of a championship organization. Just it is what it is. Let's go. Mm -hmm. You know, our challenges. That was kind of like, okay, we, 
we powered through that. We never complained, but this is what it should be. You know, this is what it's all about. And it was like a celebration of each other. Cause I tell you this group, there's two trademarks for me of this group. One is joy. Mm -hmm. They play the game with joy and two is teammate. You know, they really do care deeply about each other. So that was uh, to me like the ultimate release of that joy <laughs> and that caring about each other, which I think are, are going to stead us well, you know, as we kind of hope to play another month, which is hard to imagine. Oh yeah. man, I love it. Okay, 30 seconds here. Where will you be during the game and when will you have your first sip of a beverage that is of the adult type? <laughs> the adult type beverage will not come from me until the last <laughs> pitch is over. Uh, and it, it hopefully will be a celebratory one, yeah. uh, not a con consolation drink. Uh, and I will be in the same place I watch. It's a sweet, you know, mm -hmm. vaguely behind home plate with my, my daughters coming up from, from the States and a couple of our scouts um, and leadership baseball leadership will be in there with me and um, yeah it'll be uh, it'll be an intense game <laughs> I'm gonna get the massage right now to get Mark Shapiro ready and loose yeah, for go. tonight congratulations yeah. and All good right, luck we can't yeah. wait to see it great to appreciate it